We're back. How's everyone doing? Oh, we're on. Are we on? Don't know. Are you check. Man, no, we're on. Good. Two seconds. Someone will have to check in time. We're on or not, that'd be great. That'd be fab. We should be. Today's live. Oh, we're on. We're on. We're live. How are we all doing? I'm moving this out the way because it's going to be so annoying seeing the, um, obviously the PC, but yeah. We're back! We're back! Uh, no, we're having no party. You're right. You're right. No, we're having no party. Um, hopefully we can still go on and get a win today though. If we get a win, then there's always room for a party for a win, isn't there? Um, yeah. Um, Southampton today. Yeah, Southampton. Uh, look, I, recently we've we've picked up a little bit in the past few games. We've had the break to obviously refresh. Um, you know, just having that little bit of a break, and now we come back in uh, the in the final moments of the season. Um, and it's 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 where it all matters now. We need to start picking up points uh, if we want to obviously be up be around the uh, the playoff spot. To be fair, looking at the teams that are in there now, I I, I can't really see us getting in in there. I'd be happy with getting seventh. I'd I'd take seventh at this rate. Um, obviously, we want to be in the playoffs. That's obviously that's always been the, the main target. Um, but you look at the teams that are in there at the moment, and it's gonna be very, very hard to get in there. Um, they're all in fine form, and we're, we're lacking in consistency at the moment. We're not getting like wins like on the bounce basically, and. It, it it's it's very tough, um, I guess. But look, we've we if we can get a get a bit of a run going, get a few wins, um, in a row, you know, just just have a little bit of a, a bit of a bit of a run towards the end of the season. That'd be massive for us. Three wins, but by the time bloody hell, we could win the next three games. And we could be right in there. You know what I mean? Um, anything could happen. Championship, it's exciting. But um, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that we can go out and just, just get a result. I'm going to go for a... For me, I'm going to go for a... No, I, want to go for, no, I don't know what I want to go for. I'm in... I'm in two minds at one, one nil or two one. That's like my own decision, but I'm gonna go for a two one. Uh, for the borough. I think that uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a very very tight game. I think it's gonna be very tight. Just a matter of if we go and get a result, that'd be massive for us. Um, Leicester lost again. Uh, they were like ten points clear at the top, not long ago. Uh, bottled it. I was actually watching that game. And I turned it off. Uh, I've been working on a new project. Obviously, um, I don't know if anyone's seen it. Uh, there's been a trailer that's been released on all my socials, apart from YouTube. Um, but uh, tonight, uh, a new short film on this channel is coming out tonight at 9pm. It's called The John O Killer. It's uh, a short film, say, say about 3-4 minutes long. Um, 
obviously it's not just been me who's worked on it. A uh, bunch of my college mates, we've, we've just went on and we've just decided to make it. Um, so if you, if you want to go and watch it tonight, it comes out at 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, re really, I, th I think for how much time we put put into it and obviously the, the, the effort like with like all the camera work and stuff and all the lighting and it, it, like and everything just, and the editing overall I think that uh, I think that we've done a pretty good job with it so you know uh, if you want to if you want to check it out it'll be out at nine o'clock tonight it'll come out as a premiere so make, make sure you give it a watch it's it's I think it's really really good um, but obviously I, I'm not going to take all the credit for it like obviously you know people behind the scenes and stuff and people who have actually been in the film as well um, you know like for instance like Kai, Amaris, Abby, Jude um, and Alex you know um, I don't know if I've already mentioned but Amaris like you know all those people have you know they've, they've done a really good job um, with their, their roles as well so give, give it a little watch tonight I, I, I think it's absolutely brilliant um, but anyways that's not the main focus here we've got a very very big championship game and it's against Southampton who have recently been well on fire um, I'm just going to search for Shit. I'm going to try and keep you all up to date with the championship scores um, Oh wow! So Melbourne West Brom that's in the 94th minute now, nearly nearly full time, but it's one one, one one there. Um, as already mentioned, back it. I'm sure it makes plenty of after dinner uh, entertainment for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, Br Bristol won it. 1 0. Very interesting. They won it in the 73rd minute. From it goal from Anis. But to be fair, when I was watching that game, it was so end to end. It was end to end, you know. Um, second half, I think Leicester started piling the pressure on, but obviously I had turned it off. Um, I think it was just before the goal, actually. Um, but, uh, yeah, must have been a very, very good game. Uh, yeah, so there's no other games on at the moment. They all start at uh, 3 o'clock. So I'll keep you all up to date with, obviously, scores and stuff. Um, there is a late... Night match tonight, uh, Watford and Leeds. We've also got Blackburn Rovers and Ipswich Town. So that's interesting. Yeah. No one we played for the rest of the season. I know we played for the rest of the season. There was a few of the things that was me. I don't know. Oh! Wait. Uh, I don't know if you played for the Euros. Penalty shootout victory in Cardiff. He also drops to the bench. Brooks on the bench too. And Ryan Manning, who had no surgery after a bit of fault. Ah, all right. Alteration against Birmingham City. Fair enough. I mean, like, you know, I'll put in your thoughts in the comments, you know what I mean? Uh, of course, I'm, like, going to read it and stuff. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not, not going to care. At the end of the day, the, the, the comments are there for a reason, so, you know. Um, but, yeah. I love, I love. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Um, what did you say? Yeah, as I said, I mean, I, I love seeing the pyros and stuff, but it's obviously illegal, so. To have them in the stadium, but. You know, when, when you see it, it's like, the, like it's a change of atmosphere, and I think it's very, very good. I love it. As you can see, the Xbox pyjamas are out. But I've got a Borough through and through hoodie on, so I'm still wrapping some Borough merch, so don't worry. This is still Borough merch, it's just twisted for some reason. But yeah. Um, hey people in the live chat, if you haven't already, make sure you like the stream and uh, put your score predictions in the chat. Uh, it'd be very much appreciated. Uh, 
couldn't get tickets for me and Luna, but um, good luck to our brother because he's going. Oh, nice! Nice. Oh, hopefully, hopefully it's a it's a great game then. Just hoping that we can go on and get a win. And up the Bora, up the Bora. Score uh, one off to Bora. Love that. Hopefully, hopefully we can get that result. Just a win would do for me. A win would do for me. They came back and showed character again against Sunderland and got themselves back into the game of Joe Rockwell's another big impact from the bench from the Bournemouth loan. The 2 k 24 is class. Don't tell me anything about it because I haven't seen any clips of it or anything like that, but I've heard it's good. I want to play it so bad. Like, so bad. We're just waiting for the players now. But yeah, I, I've been really, really... Uh, I've been really excited for uh, 2 k 24 for a long time, obviously. It's just a matter of getting my hands on the actual game now. Um, yeah. I don't really care about the score, we just want to win. Yeah, exactly. I mean, a, a win would be massive for us. Here come the players, they're walking out the tunnel now. Uh, hopefully Jones get a, gets a goal, um, what we hope, yeah, hopefully. I mean, obviously, when he, um, obviously just before the break, he not long ago came back from the uh, injury, didn't he, so... Hopefully he's had these this week or two to obviously you know with Scar if he comes on fair enough yeah, yeah, the last yeah, I, 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 I've done that a lot, to be fair. I'm going to put Maddo on. on him. I want Maddo. Uh, we're ready for kickoff here at St Mary's. Then last there it is. Nine five seven on WhatsApp. Who says I'll take a scrappy one nil. Emmanuel Latte Latte to score. It's BBC Radio T Sport in the sunshine in between the clouds. On. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a two one. In Hampshire, it's gonna go for a Luke in goal. And Latte Latte. Thank you very much, Paul. It feels more autumnal this afternoon rather than spring like here in Hampshire. The clouds over. I have a feeling. St. Mary's and a cracking borough following away to our right. Let's bring in the teams as uh, some kind of trumpet music played out uh, before uh, this one. I can just see a little band down there playing since uh, the Saints go marching in, I think. Uh, but yes, uh, let's bring in the team news. Three changes for Borough from the side that drew nil nil uh, with Blackburn last time out a couple of weeks ago. Latte La Patrick, bloody hell. If he got a hat trick, then. Yes, please. To be fair, he's been scoring a few goals recently. So, if he can get a hat trick today, that'd be massive. Uh, here we go, up the borough. Uh, I'll come back at half time. I'm going to walk to my for TV. Lovely stuff. See you then. Hopefully, uh, a good first half. <laughs> Oh, when the Reds go marching in. Oh, when the luck, oh, when the luck goes marching in. Oh, no. 
John Owen, I'm mud in a mud. Here we go, we're in the wet. Southampton gets us underway. Oh, Jesus. Love that. From Johnny Alston. Good clearance. It was Johnny Alston, but was it? Yeah, but Johnny is playing the central one. You've got Luke Hillen on the right hand side. Johnny Central and Matt Clark as a three. For a sitting in that shape in the headed away from Isaiah Jones oh that's a laugh nearly broke away Southampton captain Stevens to give it to Lat there laugh but the sense just about hang on to it but we're going to just knock it around or should I say Southampton just going to knock it around inside their own half but pressing upfield slightly but small ball it's a long ball forward Southampton coming forward here as two poor men around him as Engel tries to stop him from getting past Wasn't able to. Greenwood clears it away and it's the corner ball. Hey, please film the TV. You can't get on. I, I can't film it, unfortunately, due to copyright. I do apologise. If copyright wasn't a thing, then I would. Going to be Will Smallborn to take this one. Riz is left arm now. It's going to be an outswinger, right foot. It's going to be a right foot cross Just into the box. In now to floaty delivery. Oh, and go! Thanks for a handball. Nothing given. Jones was chasing the ball. It comes straight to the keeper as he whacks it up the field. And it's going to be a borough throw. For a borough throw and maybe just a bit of respite because of opening two minutes, Neil have been all yeah. Southampton. Yeah, they've started brightly. Southampton on the front foot, got that corner there. And Engel at the back post just swings it and misses it slightly. And eventually, we clear our lines, but you're right, a little bit of respite. And I'll tell you what, some following from Teesside away to our right There's hand side. Line. I think it was 1700 was it overheard earlier this week. But they're backing their side in fine voice, and let me tell you, it's not a not a simple journey. So it's with Southampton's back line, back in possession, coming at the halfway line. Just now on the right hand side, just knock it around a little bit. So Greenwood wins the ball now. Latte laugh. Oh, go on, Jones. It's Jones. Oh, unlucky. He couldn't keep control of the ball there, I don't think. That's a game plan without a shadow of a doubt. You've seen the Satin, the other three, the Bark and Clark, Johnny House and the Nailing. And there, Isaiah Jones from the right hand side comes over on the left hand side, makes a great run. Good ball from Dunbar Lasser and eventually Saints clear it, but it's a throw it to us deep inside their half now. Certainly is. It's about 10 yards up. Engel to take the throw. On this near side, on the left-hand side, Engel to take it. Looks towards the chest. Lasse, Lasse. 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 Greenwood. Greenwood on the edge. Is there Ball Lasse. Lasse. A shot there isn't. Dan Ball Lasse's touch is loose. Ailing. Alston. Clark. Comes out to this left-hand side. Now Engel. The itch and stand. O'Brien. Now Engel. To the channel for Engel. He's up by the bar line. And Engel. Corner ball. Middlesbrough's first corner of the afternoon. That's great play from us on this left hand side. But look, is it Greenwood or Engel that track gets a ball? I think it's Engel, isn't it? Gets a ball in, but he's too slow. He has to deliver that ball in to give us an opportunity to get something. And he delays, he delays. And the defender just comes over. I think it's one small ball and just. I feel like. It's a first now, four minutes of this game, Some it's Greenwood it is to take it. It's gonna be a right footed. Been very settling. Whips it in now towards that knee. Ball in net. Ooh. Away by Stevens as Clark was lurking. Gonna be picked up about thirty. O'Brien. O'Brien. He has a couple of minutes. Here's O'Brien ball through. What's the channel where Aylin was making? And it's gonna be a foul by, by Luke Aylin. The referee spots a foul. Aylin, no arguments there. Free kick to it's Free kick. Yeah, you've seen the, the play, you know, in terms of trying to get in behind them and, and turning them. Zaya Jones gets in behind there and does really well. There's Carrick. The beginning of the, the program. They lack Super the Michael Carrick. Back, especially down the central areas. And you're hoping that you can exploit that. But you'll expect Southampton to have lots of the ball. Michael Carrick said a few times that his side are quite fluid in their shape as well. And at times it looked almost like a back four, this. Um, with... 
Healing at right back and house. It's a back five, isn't it? Yeah, it's a it back is. five. You know, you you normally away from home, them wing backs took right in and they make it a back five and you make it so hard and difficult for the opposition. You frustrate them. But as I said before, you have to hit them on the break. Southampton so move the ball. Then number the five. Top, in behind him, turn their defence at the halfway line. Something. It's going to back. Sport, five minutes gone, Southampton, nil, Trying to find a pass, but there's no one there for him. Intercepted by the Borough. Great error from Barlasa. Latte Lack. Isaiah Jones on the right hand side. Near the box. It's been taken away from him. Oh, that is excellent from Engel. That. Unfortunately, Engel just tried to cushion it to Greenwood, but it skipped away from Greenwood and straight back to Carl Walker Peters. And Greenwood slipped twice now. Now we be played. The Cape's hair is fine. We've had so much rain overnight and. Hackney's fair. Uh, I think his hair is fine. That's what I meant. Couldn't get the words out. Southampton work it to Armstrong. His attempted ball forwards cut out by Johnny Housen in that centre half roll this afternoon. Now, Senny Dien. Back in possession with their goalkeeper, Senny Dien, on the edge of the area. It's very disappointing to see that um, McGree's injured. And Fawcett as well. That's three times but McGree's a big one. Like five minutes, Sam Greenwood has slipped totally on the pitch. Negri is a big, a big, big tool, loss. Because Southampton come forward now down the left hand side. It's James Bree. Back in field for Jack Stevens. Picked up by Stuart Armstrong. Armstrong tries a ball over the top where Smallbourne have made a run. Headed cleared by Matt Clarkthorpe. And it'll be played out towards this left hand side where Adam Armstrong will pick it up ahead of Engel. And rebounds off the Borough man. Back off the Saints man. Out for a Middlesbrough throw. Level with the edge of the own penalty area on this near side. We mentioned earlier on that they had a really good start. and you have grown into the game, you frustrate them so far. I know we haven't, we haven't played, <laughs> we've only played eight or ten minutes, but tell you what, it's been okay so far for us. Defensively solid and, and frustrating them. And I tell you what, all the noise is coming from that right hand corner in the Northam stand. That tune to the uh, sound of Enola Gay has been belted out by the Borough fans. So, so they're still singing it then. Because I know that Southampton sing it as well. So they're singing all Carrick said then. I was, I, I was trying to like, I was, I was silent because I was trying to work out if, if it was Southampton singing it or if it was obviously us singing it. But it's, it's the Borough boys who are singing it. Good pressure from Borough those forced backwards. In a sense, I'll come again. And now Southampton trying to find an opening. Moved into the right hand side. Man coming forward. Looking for options, and that's really, really good tackle from Engel. And now Latte Laf could break. He's brought down. Nothing given, no foul. It's played on. Southampton with the ball. They're starting to move forward now. Trying to find that area. But housing it accepts. And now Southampton have the ball back straight away. Now on the right hand side. Shea Adams is there as an option. Southampton enjoying all of the possession at the minute, but for a staying resolution. But it's back at the defence. And yet again, they're going to try and find an opening. They're going to try and find that space. And they found it on the right hand side. Where they find their winger. And it's a great ball. And it's into the box. He's free on goal. It's kept in. And it's headed away. And that's going to be. No, it's, he's kept it in. It's still in play. Southampton work it back a few yards. And now Southampton still with the ball. Now on the right hand side again. They're working that right hand side. And they're doing it very, very well. Southampton. It's a long ball forward now. And it's headed by Engel to Senny Dieng. Setting it down, just you know, slow the game down a little bit because they've had a little bit of ball. I tell you what they, what they do do well, Southampton, is runners from midfield, just in behind in the hole. You know, Centre forward just splits a little bit and they try and... Yeah, he's going to have to move back a little bit, Jones. They play little balls over the top, which we've dealt with so far, but they are dangerous at it. 
or a work it down the right hand side. Isaiah Jones tried a, a quick turn away from the defender. Look the L. For a throw. Ehrling takes it to the feet of Azaz and then a little dinked ball over the top looking for Latte Laugh. Just a little bit too much on it on. Southampton will pick up possession in their own box with Bazunu playing oh, the ball at the back under pressure. Tell you what, should, should, should be winning then. Azaz trying to put the pressure on as Southampton are coming forward again. They're trying to find another opening. They just keep they just keeping the ball, they're passing the ball around, keeping possession. And we're trying to do something about it. But we've got to be careful what we do here. Now on the left hand side, great tackle from Jones. But he couldn't get to it because he knew that there was another man coming for it. He was already getting beaten to it. It's a great challenge from Isaiah Jones because he's on the corner of the 18 yard box. Oh no, it's gone off. Bang with that. Try something. No. Okay. A sound. Go off it and then go back on it. Does this every single time, I swear down. It just won't stay on. It like it has its moments where it'll like lag and stuff and then it'll come back on. So yeah. But I think I think at the moment I think we've been playing defensively we've been fine, I guess. But Don't know. Oh! <laughs> it's 1-0 <one> Southampton. <laughs> I've just turned the screen back on and... Uh, it's still lagging. But it's 1-0 Southampton. If it would like to... Just turn back on. Or not. I mean, I would have liked to see the goal, but clearly I'm not going to see that. Like, oh my word, we're one nil down. Are you kidding me right now? If you don't laugh, <laughs> you cry. Exactly. Exactly. Well said, Amiss. Well bloody said. Back on. Oh, and to make matters worse, Sunderland are 1 0 to bolt the box and. And I was literally, just, just before I turned it back on, I was literally just saying defensively, we've been fine. A couple of yards for Ailing. Oh, hang on. Ailing. Jones. Oh, you. Right, I'm just going to put the normal channel on for it because I can't be asked. To be fair. So, I'm not going to have Maddo anymore. Which is very sad. Because I prefer having Maddo one. But that, that that channel that I was using earlier on was working fine, so I'm gonna have to use it, unfortunately. If this one would even like to turn on anyways. Sunderland are one of up, uh, mid table clash is heating up for real. Yeah, it's uh, it's not going too great at the moment, is it? Just play. It's just not playing. <sighs> My God. My bloody God.
Do you know what's worse? The fact that this was actually working at a caravan site. Isn't that like a bit sad? The fact that this was actually working at a caravan site. There's plenty to be pleased with. And now I'm back at all. Opening 15 minutes of the match so far. It's on. Well, it must be really right, difficult I'm not for counting. to play against oh, us. We've got that formation and shape where we just rotate so often. Now we're drawing from the right hand side. Moving forward. forward. There the could be a chance here. Oh. It's still 1 0. Taylor Howard Bellis. It's quite stretched this game, even in the opening stages, because the pace there really is a, a warning sign for Southampton. Isaiah Jones, I mean, he made almost the full length of the half, and but for an outstretched leg from Taylor Harwood Bellis, there might have been oh, a my word. there for Michael Carrick's side. What are the other scores in the championship? As it is, Shea Adams, as he stayed on side, he has. And Scotland International is strongly... Oh, against Jesus. Daniel. And does well to hold the ball up. Needs support. And comes in the shape of Kamal Dean Sulemana, who switched flanks for the time being. And the Ghanaian international will just stand on the ball. There's no other scholars at the moment. Will not be rushed, Southampton. They'll just probe and tease and wear teams down. And, and it's misplaced pass from James Bruce for uh, Southampton. Yeah, a bit of a to. Uh, they're in the corner, let's try and squeeze them in, win the ball back high up the pitch. Stuart Armstrong. But coming back to that last attack, you're talking about Asaya Jones. Yeah, what pace he's shown. That, that's just, a, a, as you say, a, a red light, a warning. The only you know, two ball, scores sure at the moment is Plymouth 1, Norwich 0. And Perleth 0, Sunderland 1. Wonderful positioning from Taylor Harwood Bellis. Of pace and, and ability Southampton won Millsborough nil. Confidence to take a player on as well. He's only just come back into the side against Blackburn last time out. Certainly missed him. Middlesbrough Very out. sad. Both Marcus Falls and Riley McGree, who failed fitness tests. Captain My prediction is 3 0 about your borough, mate. It's already 1 0 to Southampton. So it can't be. It can't be 3 0. Oh, Engel, that is such a bad pass. Again, it's just handed possession back to Southampton. Will certainly be in no rush to speed these build-ups again, having just one possession back. That's what Borough don't want to do. You clearly not want to be doing this afternoon, giving the ball away cheaply and as easily as what they did there. Because all of a sudden you know that you're going to be without Come the ball on. potentially for another, you know, anything from 15, 30 seconds to possibly two minutes without the football trying to win it back again. Southampton again, just building from deep. 69 goals in 18 championship matches here at St Mary's this season. Highly entertaining, sometimes rather stressful as well as exciting, but if, if you want goals galore, how about Ipswich? 82 goals at Portman Road this season in their games. That's just extraordinary. But that could be shaping up for goals, is that what you're saying on Monday? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big, big Easter period here for Southampton. All here comes Southampton again. Three home games in a row to follow. Right inside. Here comes Camel Cuts Dean inside. And Stuart Armstrong's got a bit of room to work with. Now Here's Armstrong. Scorer, Adam Armstrong. It was a sublime finish. So much to do. Lifted in by Stuart Ball Armstrong. the box. And very cleverly collected it, by still on side. Adams there. Controlled well and fashions across as well. It's good. Yeah, I thought I thought he put it in on net. And still on here for Southampton. Will Smallbone, who like Brian Robson used to do, loves to get into the opposition penalty area and make those long busting runs as a midfielder. And here, Taylor Harwood Bellis unflustered. Love that. Gather the ball again after more strength. Through. We need to get ourselves back into this game. And they're just because shuffling Middlesbrough across here and just waiting. At the moment, Southampton are 
all over us at the moment. They're passing brilliant. They've kept the ball. Look, look at that! In the box. Their pass has been brilliant. You can't fault that. They're finding those areas. Real quality into the box, but and just moments it's easy to wonderful defend. Wonderful little touch and bring down from Shea Adams, wasn't it? And a very, really, very good cross as well. It's just a shame that the, the only real attacking player in the six-yard box at the time was Adam Armstrong. So could have done with maybe someone like Will Smallbone or Stuart Armstrong attacking from the far post, just getting in on that that cross from Shea. But good build-up play from Saints again. Is anyone going to get that? No. Who've won seven of their Southampton throw. Last 11 matches away from Speaking of possession, Southampton have had 74 percent of possession. We've had 26. On the back foot here, as we've almost reached the midway point of this first period. Taylor Harwood Bellis continuing this impressive loan spell from Manchester City. Uh, start bench sell. Um, yeah, I'm going to use Oasis and Hoosiers. Start the Hoosiers. Uh, bench Oasis. Start the Monkeys. Oh my word. It's got to go. And still forcing Middlesbrough back here, Russell Martin's side. But well, that's what we want to see from Camaldine Sulemana, don't we? He's up one on one against uh, Asaya Jones, and Asaya Jones is quick. And now on the left hand side, he's doubling up, Jones he's doubled up on, has got to defend here. He's recognising when to go and put the afterburners on. Clearly, Asaya Jones was struggling with Sulemana's pace there from a defensive point of view. Got to see more of that at times when he's in those one on one positions. It's explosive acceleration, isn't it, off the mark like that? I remember uh, a player, Nicky Forster for Reading, uh, God, it's going to be about 20 odd years ago, he used to put a bungee stop around his waist and power against that resistance just to give him that explosive acceleration. Well, as a defender facing against that kind Coventry of. Coventry turning up against Huddersfield. You know, you, you know you're in trouble if you, you haven't got the legs to match it. Phil, 2 1 to Bora now. Yeah, that's what I said, 2 1 to Bora. We've just got to find yes. ourselves Camaldine back in this game. On cue. Operating from a, a deeper position here. And Flynn Downs, who will once more conduct and orchestrate the Southampton move. Flynn Downs, you wonder what his future holds beyond the end of this season with his loan spell from West Ham United, realising that chances would be limited oh, to David Moyes. Silly challenge to give away. Large part in the season with Jones. Southampton with a free kick here. Largely unruffled and unflustered and looking to build on that Adam Armstrong goal on 12 minutes. Back in the side and back on the song, Kyle Walker-Peters, he's really been a prominent Southampton player in this opening period. And he'll gather the ball once more and just... Uh, well done, Engel. Lucas Engel nick the ball in front of him. Just seen one or two of the Middlesbrough players just showing a little bit of frustration. You know, it must be really difficult playing against the same side when you see so little of the ball. There's, you expect that to a degree when you're playing away from home, but when Saints dominate so much as they do, it can be really frustrating when you're in your opposition. Lovely little triangle from Southampton there, and Flynn Downs knocking into Stuart Armstrong, and now on the turn is Adam Armstrong, blocked by Matt Clark. And a clever blindsided pass to Stuart Armstrong from Kyle Walker Peters, and Middlesbrough struggling to clear their lines. And I'll have more work to do here with Michael Carrick's side and warmly applauded by the Southampton supporters around St Mary's because they're dominating possession, they're controlling proceedings here and the way they're playing, they deserve a second goal to Russell Martin's side. Again, they're spreading it wide. Oh, Stuart dear. Armstrong, lovely pass to Adam Armstrong into the near post and knocked away by Matt Clark again at the expense of a corner kick. Saints do that so well, don't they? They, they just sort of patient build up, moving the ball. 24 the minutes. Present and North End are one up against Rotherham. Run in behind the defender, a little side pass, and then there's a delivery into the box, hopefully, which got blocked on that occasion. We need to defend this. The corner will be taken to right foot cross, cross again. Oh my word. Clailed up by 
the end just missed the ball completely. And I thought someone was going to head that in. spotted something, an infringement somewhere. Just was pretty quick on the whistle. I couldn't see anything personally, but then again, I might be slightly biased. The voice of Franny Benali on Saints Play. Good to have your company worldwide, wherever you may be, listening and watching in on the Southampton Football Club official streaming platform, Saints Play. You can subscribe and get a seasonal pass, or if you want to watch the remaining games, you can do it match by match. Slows the play down low, the way they pass the ball. Engel does really well, though. Dispossessed Lucas Engel. Greenwood. Middlesbrough retained possession. O'Brien. Former Huddersfield player, Lucas Now it's us. On loan from Nottingham Forest now. He's some player. Ole, 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 ole. Finas, az, az, az. Finas, az, az, az. Ole, 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 ole. Finas, az, az, az. Finas, az, az, az. There was four. And it's taken all the pressure off Southampton. Wonderful pressing from Saints. You know, we see them sort of being patient, slow sometimes in the build-up when they have the football. But you saw that intent to win the ball back when they... Uh, Greenwood intercepts the ball. Here, here comes Greenwood. In the shape of... Oh, O'Brien, oh, that's dirty. Lewis O'Brien will exchange passes and, and turn full circle. Uh, well organised at the back, Southampton, and just shuffling across... Alston, Erlen. To repel this... Middlesbrough Jones. period of possession, oh. they do it really well once more. And Stuart Armstrong looks disgusted with himself. Angle does there. really well that. Intended pass around him. Armstrong didn't quite come off the way he intended. And O'Brien. Ben Shea Adams working like a tiger, ferociously and tenaciously trying to help out his teammates and squeeze Middlesbrough back. Joy, it's, it's wonderful as a, a defence to see that and, and clearly that's what Russell Martin expects from every single player whoever's out there on the pitch we defend from the front and that includes the and strikers if, even if you're the number 9 or number 10 as Shea is playing up front uh, as the, the, the central striker uh, every player is expected to do their bit out of possession of the football and win it back and put players under pressure now, oh my word go on oh my word that is awful wasn't perhaps the best option. He could have gone for forward a bit. Great head of that. We might have said far easier up in the stand here. Southampton though will get that. They play their way out of from the back. And Shea Adams again just goes back into the defender and holds. That is a really good there. tackle. That uh, go on. Did well to find Finazaz, and Azaz has gone round it. Oh, he's in the post. Finazaz. Oh, yeah. The strike away with his right foot and it's smashed back up against the upright. Oh, Finn has hits the post. A slow response from Shea Adams after his first touch did so wow. to receive the ball from Carl Peters, but then got the ball nicked off him. Go on, and that's lifted Middlesbrough as Zaz trying to play it through towards Isaiah. It's not a great Jones. ball, that. but we're starting to play again. International who made his full debut for his country as a late substitute in midweek and his confidence will be high and he needed no second invitation to get a strike on him and Bazuna was beaten but saved by the woodwork it was a clever strike from him wasn't it Lars it was one of those ones that you see almost the goalkeeper starting to move to the left a little bit just to we need to build on that now the shot desperately need to build on that strikers do it so often now they almost like cut it back across themselves and, and we can get that goal we need to go and get another one to change direction and it was one of those ones when he left his foot i thought this is just going to the first thing is to get post. that first goal I, in, I think you're right Franny. Uh, it was very close here come southampton though oh dear you know that's uh, of survival uh, out for a throw a borough throw from my so eye Just a, a little bit heavy on that pass from Will, Will Smallbone. Even someone as quick as Suleiman couldn't keep it in play. But that's the oh. way switch play. And then that would enable someone like Suleiman. A little bit more to, to, to the right. His defensive marker. Just watching that replay, Franny. That'll hit the post and go in that. Gavin Bazuna out. He was, he was beaten on his near post against Switzerland for the Republic of Ireland in midweek. And he must have been having nightmares there, Gavin Bazuna, that it was going to be a, a similar scenario as Finn as has, uh, hit the upright. Wow. His uh, international teammate as well, of course. So it's uh, 
2 0 Sunderland now. It's Bellingham who gets it. As we move into the final Joel Bellingham. Of this opening period, and despite their largely dominant display and performance, they got to be wary because that was a a close call for Russell Martin's side. The second goal was crucial. You know, we've dominated the proceedings in these. This first half an hour, uh, you know, a few danger signs, clearly none more so than hitting the post there. But, uh, you know, th there's just those little flashes that you think, you know, just... Here comes Southampton. I think in a game of football when we've going back. it as much as we have, going down the tunnel, two goals to the left-hand side. Much more relaxing position than it just 1-0, clearly. Just keeping the ball uh, saying, at their feet. Just getting that reward in possession. To our dominance of play that now on the right-hand so side. Adam Armstrong. Trying to beat Engel. But they may have to be forced to go back. No. Oh, it's brilliant one two passing. It's Stuart Armstrong. It's a ball. And now on the left hand side. Out the box. Will he beat Jones? No, he won't. He said he'll go and find a pass. And he has. And now they're doing their quick passes. And now they've gone back to the keeper. And now it's back out, back to the keeper. Trying to look for an option. Southampton goalkeeper, Bizzuno. It's a long ball forward. Ehrling gets there and it's headed to Seni Dien in goal. Barlasa. Ehrling. Uh, cheeky little pass there. Now it's a long ball forward to Engel. Can Engel get there? It looks like it's going out. He keeps it in. He's got Azaz with him and he finds Azaz. And now O'Brien. Housen. Ehrling. Such a versatile player playing. Trying to find the gaps. Jones. Back to Ailing. Ailing's going to put a ball into the box where Lafay Laf is. But it goes over him. And now it's Engel who keeps the ball in. Says it's going out for a throw. And now it's Azaz. Barlasa. Housen. Back to Ailing. Ailing goes back. Finds. Clark, Clark goes to Housen. Housen goes back to Clark. Now Engel. Just keeping on the ball, keeping possession, trying to find some, um, some space. Housen. Back to Ehrling. Balassa, terrible pass. Never before had the three teams relegated from the Premier League immediately made it back to the top flight of English football. Southampton proving once more. Southampton trying to find James Bree. some momentum now. Occupying the position that Oh no. And now, oh, that's a, that's a foul. It's going to be a yellow card for the Southampton man. A little bit more worrying, Moses, is the fact that he's just dropped to his knees as well. I don't know whether he's just caught himself, twicked a knee or something, or he's, like I say, he's made one of those technical fouls, you'd maybe call it. But uh, he seems to, well, he had a hand on his hip, his side or his yeah. hip a little bit, but he's back on his feet without the it's medical team coming on. Downs who has the yellow card. Obviously don't want any injuries to any players at the moment for this final push and run in, but... Uh, he's yeah. such a pivotal cog, isn't he, in the Southampton machine. And you know, he's got so much Premier League experience at West Ham and the Europa Conference League experience as well now. So he's... He really is an influential and such now a good player for Sam Absolute. Balassa. That's a great pass from Balassa to Jones. Jones puts it in the box. Engel. Oh, corner ball. 
excellent defender from Carl Walker Peters there. Looked a really dangerous break down that right hand side, didn't it? And using his pace to get in there. Oh. It's a good ball in as well. But look at Carl Walker Peters. He just you know what Angle should have into gave striker, it to uh, making sure that he's not going to get contact just to poke it into the Greenwood there, I think. And then he could have gone on his right foot and put it in the top corner. Oh, at least had a go anyways. To be taken by the Leeds United lone striker. Luke Ehrling. Ball the box. And well dealt with at the near post by Taylor Harwood Bellis. Plenty of players forward here and he might get caught and oh dear. Ryan, who took the shirt of Shea Adams and I can only imagine he's playing an advantage. Oh dear. It's gone out. Yeah, it's a poor throw. Because he was clearly being infringed. He could easily have called that back, I think, couldn't he? It was clearly a you know a shirt pull and we saw that from the stands here, didn't we? Yeah, we'll yeah, start again. The referees like to send the end. And you want to, that to be the case if, if Shea's pass out to this right hand side would have been a, a little bit more angle. Would have been a promising attack, I think. But now by last he goes to back, back to angle. It's a long ball forward to Luke okay, Ayling. For Middlesbrough with around 10 minutes now to is as in this first half and it's a weak pass again slide it through towards Isaiah Jones good defending by James Bree who was being impeded by the young Englishman he apologises for uh, his infringement it's a free kick Southampton we do want to get in touch we'll try and uh, read out a few messages in the second half at Los Herdman wherever you may be watching this live stream on Saints play across the world as we into this pivotal 10 match run in and things couldn't have gone too much better for Southampton on this good Friday so far with Leicester surprisingly you might say oh, beaten by Bristol City love that from Balassa Saints with this narrow one goal advantage against Alison. Middlesbrough who still look a threat have been under the cosh for a lot of the first half but they've fashioned one or two chances Clark goes back to Houghton. The, the last home match as well. Now Ailing. Again asked one or two questions of Southampton who responded in kind with plenty of character and Joe Rothwell's uh, impactful entrance again from the uh, oh, substitutes bench. Engel. Here's Lucas Engel for Middlesbrough. Oh. Latte Laff was on the move there. But instead he goes really to uh, Finn as as They've done that quite often, haven't they? Sort of breaking away with the ball and then that little pass into their strikers or the final ball is just See, not really been of the attacking wise, we're not that bad. Hoping for and, you know, losing but we just, just can't get the back to the end product really all the time. To do anything, so which is annoying because I know that they can do it. Delighted that we will take any balls like that whatsoever. But for Borough to get back into this game, they're going to have to improve on those those scenarios. Three wins there we go. Three clean sheets in the last four matches for Michael Carrick's side, and they've shown it's a here. And throw. They've kept it to one. And as Franny was saying, eight minutes to half time, a second goal would be just what Southampton would want heading into the interval. Adam Armstrong threatened to make a run down the left side there. They've switched flanks again. As you said, they probably would, Franny. Uh, Adam Armstrong and Kamal Dean Sulemana. And here comes Saints goal scorer now. It's playing it into the path of Stuart Armstrong. He's well marshalled by Johnny Howson. Howson. The Middlesbrough captain. But he kept possession well there. The Trying to keep the ball away from the box. A neat turn by Flynn Downs. Who will tee it up here. And now it's going to be shifted to the right hand side. Crowd. We're encouraging by Kyle Walker Peters. Uh, maybe not on that occasion. It's going to start making his run. Will he give Lucas Engel a problem here? And his trickery will create okay, some room. And now it's a ball into the, the box. Post, which was out for a goal kick. Okay. Too high for Adam Armstrong. Yeah, that's a shame from Suleiman's cross, but that's the kind of thing you're looking for. Just mixing it up, as you touched on a little bit earlier. Armstrong, Adam Armstrong, and Suleiman just switching flanks. It keeps the defenders on their toes all the time. You're not coming up against one player, well, knowing what they're going to hopefully look to do. All of a sudden, you've got a different kind of player, and it keeps you thinking, awesome. it keeps you on your, your toes. But Ellen. just me saying about the second goal loss is one reason. Two and L, Brenton North End but against Rotherham. One clean sheet in the last seven. Emil Reese with the goal. Two 0 victory against West Brom. So yes, we score goals. We're capable of doing that without doubt. But we haven't been too tight at the back in a lot of the games, and that's why we need to get that second goal. Yes, to make it more Engel. comfortable. But 
we are capable of conceding goals as well. Yes, yeah, Southampton are the eighth now best O'Brien. championship defence, and they've got Greenwood. Here as, uh, an offside flag was raised. Apparently, he's offside against Sam Greenwood. That's a, a surprising statistic, some might say. Ten clean sheets overall in their 36 matches so far for Southampton. Gavin Bazunu, who's played in every one of them. And now here comes Southampton again. Motoring down the Southampton left flank. And now a misplaced pass from Adam Armstrong. And, and now Finn Azaz finds Isaiah Jones. The outlet ball is Isaiah Jones. Who's slowed down. Got Greenwood and he Matt finds Ailing. Ailing, Ailing. Corner ball. By Jack Stevens, but once more... A little bit of consternation for Southampton because they are quick on the break, Middlesbrough. Yeah, that's where Southampton have got to be really careful. We talked about how Middlesbrough have given the wall away in certain key positions. That was an occasion where Saints did it. Just a Jones bit of a, a is on the floor, the stretching out. From Adam Armstrong, and all of a sudden, you've got to like a He's 50, getting back up, though. More run back Seems all right. Defensive work, so don't want to be seeing that too often from Saints if we can. Jan Bednarek, he's on the bench to help defend this corner, the Polish international. So, Jack Stevens, the Saints captain, and Taylor Harwood Bellis, the Greenwood, offensive Greenwood, going to take it, right foot cross. Organise that Southampton rear guard as the corner will come in from Greenwood, an outswinger it's towards the ball. In. It was well defended by no Saints. No one's going to get there. Every and it's going to be a counter attack for Southampton. Stuart Armstrong and Shea. Adams has made a long busting run down the right but and Jones has been right brought down it's going to be a free kick Bustiously, says the referee which you would argue the majority of fans in the Kingsland stand might have a difference of opinion oh it was certainly a foot race wasn't it between the two of them and a good little slide pass from Stuart Armstrong I don't think there's there, not there? much in it at all Lars, as you say I think the referee was just too quick with his decision there didn't see anything wrong with that challenge whatsoever. Just two One no Sheffield Wednesday Sula against Swansea. And it would have been very, very interesting had that play have been allowed to have gone on. And they got the rub of the green there, Middlesbrough. I think it's fair to say. And that's it, Lav. Kevin Bazunu has raced out of his goal to get... Jones doesn't... He, he's, he keeps holding his leg. Good decision it looks like he's... Bizzunu. Holding like his hamstring. So much through him at the back, but that was one occasion where you see if he has a problem. Then he might as well come off. Putting his th foot through the ball. That's often the, the, the better case. And better one option play and injured. Certainly the right decision there because there wasn't much on to try and find one of his teammates with a shorter pass. Latter stages of this first period. So O'Brien. Some more defending to do. Azaz. Engle. We've got Jones in the back post. Oh. Hasn't found a Middlesbrough shirt. And Southampton, again, very well organised there to repel. A, oh, I don't know. Like. On Kyle Walker Peters, which will bring some respite for Saints defence anyway. I'll balance this up a little bit now, Lloyd. Referee gear or foul back. I don't know. Like. He, his options weren't too, too much there, and uh, cleverly, shall we say. Um, sort of bought the foul and the referee agreed much to the disappointment of the, the Middlesbrough players and some good ding-dongs down the years of uh, Southampton and Middlesbrough there's one match I was looking at 3-3 back in November 1998 I wondered if you played in that one at the Dell the Franny I think uh, Middlesbrough well, we... finished with 10 men and they, they equalised with Gianluca Fester in the last minute I can't quite remember but if we conceded three goals on the day there's probably a good chance that I was playing <laughs> <laughs> how magnanimous of you <laughs> it's uh, Burfrock uh, after a misplaced pass a little bit of a, a lull and a hush around the ground hey, it's interesting this holiday period isn't it every set a busy holiday period but in reality it's Good Friday it's Easter Monday it's no different to a Saturday Tuesday is it? Not really, it, ju it does just feel different, doesn't it? Three and they'll press the North End now. Um, Emil Reese again. The, the ball seems a little bit flat, dare I say it. You know, we, we talked about the atmosphere, how great it's been. I think there's almost an element, and I'm not criticising Saints supporters at all here, but I think there's an element of expectation that Saints, it's like, we're well, 1-0 up, we've started the game well, OK, we should be winning this easy. And that was the big frustration from Russell Martin against Sunderland, wasn't it? Because they allowed Sunderland back into the game, and he freely admitted, uh, Russell Martin, the Saints boss, that they should have been out of sight. Yeah, and I think there's been a few games like that. It's, it's another for a The way we 
after another misplaced pass. It's the 44th minute, so we should be getting the uh, board soon, seeing how much time we've got added on. So this one's still finely poised for sure. Steve Howson now, Clark, O'Brien, oh, oh bloody hell, oh Jesus, oh no, oh no, oh dear, oh my word, that is awful by the way. You know what? If he gets one championship goal, it might just open the floodgates, and he could see the goal beckoning there. Oh, do you know? What? I think he, there was just the excitement of knowing the position that he was in. It was a great bit of play, great pass to him. His first touch was excellent, and he just takes a second touch to get it out of his feet. But that then enables the defender to get. How much time is that? I think I'll only be out two minutes. So like. Just needed a little bit more of a composure so the, the yeah, kind of the the goal celebration. Just one minute of added on time to be played, which are one minute now. Fair Jay enough. Adams. Is there one I'd have thought I would have added, added two. Uh, Look to have been fouled. The referee decides otherwise. Southampton retain possession. Can they find something in this final 30 seconds of added on time? Flynn Downs dances away from Finn Azaz. West Ham low man will clear across the half way line. Just going to throw two players for him. Just seconds remaining. Jack Stevens waiting for the run to be made and oh. didn't quite find the feet of James Bree, but that is the and that is the first half. St Mary's and Southampton with a oh one goal advantage given to them. Well, we're going, uh, we're going at half time, losing 1 0. Uh, I think that the way that we reacted to that goal was really, really good. Obviously, not getting the goal, obviously, but apart from that, I think that we've been solid with uh, possession. Um, the only thing is, we, we're just not taking the chances when we're getting them. Like there was a there was a chance where the ball was put in the box. It slipped past Latte Laugh, it came to Lucas Engel. I think he went to take a shot or he went to cross it in. But you also had Sam Greenwood, who was some, like he, he, he was literally free. Like there was no one on him. He could have he could have gave it to him and he could have had a shot put it at the top corner. But look, it's all about decision making and. Hopefully, second half, we can go on and get a get a goal, get back into this game, and hopefully go on and build to uh, obviously, you know, just get go on and get a win. Hopefully, that's like obviously the year, and well, just really, it's really hard to say at the moment. I'm gonna quickly go for a quick break downstairs. My mum's just walking, but. Uh, We'll be back at about in about 10 minutes. I say about 10 minutes. I should be back in 10. So be back. I'll be back for 15, 59. I should be back by then. So I shall see you then. Take it all the way and give it all away. Take my freedom and make it in the middle of the day. Put my kingdom. Cody Rhodes finishing the story for real. Here come the Borough. Well, we'll for the second half. Your half time interval refreshments, wherever you may be across the globe. Some uh, really lovely comments and messages at half time at Los Herdman on Twitter uh, for this video stream across the Jeez. world on Saints Place. Sue Jeez. Sharp, great to hear Franny Bernardo with Los Herdman watching the game. Just had father in law's 88th birthday on Wednesday and then their 60th wedding anniversary on Thursday. Got to be three points. Joe Ham, can you 
wish my granddad Colin a big happy 80th birthday. Happy birthday, Colin. Uh, just got back from his cruise from in Norway. Well, that's very picturesque there, isn't it? I'm sure. And he's watching on Saints play. Uh, Tractor Saints. Here comes Southampton. Here comes Southampton. And here we go, we're underway. Can we get back into this game? Underway for the second period, big 45 minutes for Ooh. Russell Martin's side. As we the uh, for all. bring you this live coverage worldwide and across the UK and Ireland on Saints Play, the official streaming platform for Southampton Football Club. And uh, subscribe with a seasonal pass or a game to game on these final important 10 matches in this championship. Oh, go season. on, here we go. Engel, Greenwood. For Southampton. Here's Greenwood for oh, Manchester. he should have played Engel there. Hit early here in Go the on. second period. O'Brien will spring in the box, and the cross will come in to oh. near post oh. dangerously. And Barca keeps it alive. Of sort of. Oh, Aileen. Tries to keep him with a slide tackle, just say that I'm but it just goes player. out. Talking to the listeners. Uh, Bugger. Time there. I think a good job there's not a camera on us because I think the best way I can only describe it was that I had a, a bit of a user problem putting my headphones back on. <laughs> there was something going on with them that I just could not work out and I was getting in a real fluster there for a moment. We've so. all been there and I'm sure you've been there with wetsuits and um, uh, pedal straps and all sorts of your uh, your charity exploits as well, Freddie, which is, which is fantastic, all the work you do for Cancer Research UK as oh uh, Southampton looking to get round the back. Here comes Southampton. Strong, he's putting pressure on Lucas Engel and Will Smallbone had stayed on side. Has he drawn the corner kick? Yes, he has. The corner ball. Pass, wasn't it? Out to Adam Armstrong. I think it was Shea Adams. They're taking it quickly, Saints. Here's Kyle Walker-Peters. They just got caught napping a little bit there, Middlesbrough. And Walker-Peters will try and take on Greenwood. A chance here for Stuart Armstrong, perhaps, to put a telling ball into the Middlesbrough penalty area. It comes it's a ball the into the box. The and Jack Stevens will knock it back and just to play the Southampton captain. Court. Nothing a little bit the Middlesbrough defence there. There's plenty of room here for Kyle Walker Peters and he'll pick a pass to Adam Armstrong and Peters oh, my word I thought oh Jesus Oh what's this? Return ball from Will Smallbone. I was saying this in the first half. Southampton's passing is just brilliant. It's exactly that. Keeping all that ball. Was, it's a one and two touch passing and when you got movement as slick as what it was then for Southampton, it's really difficult to stay with the runners and, and try and sort of just pick up the pass or just maybe waiting for a mistake really more than anything. But it was wonderful from Saints. Certainly a, a tempo and a, a, a momentum that I think we need to, to have in this game so early after the second half. For any late comers, uh, three changes to Southampton's side this afternoon, which will bring you in just a moment. As James Bree, one of those alterations, will try and get the Saints moving forward in these opening stages of the second period at a sold out St. Mary Stadium on Good Friday oh, with a big trip to Portman Road against Ipswich to come on Easter Monday. Three changes, James Bree, Kyle Walker-Peters and Kamal Dean Suleiman are all getting starts for Russell Martin's side with David Brooks, Jan Bednarek and Ryan Manning all amongst the substitutes. Middlesbrough also 
making three alterations this afternoon. Finazaz, now a permanent Middlesbrough player, having there we go. a successful loan period go on. at Plymouth. And it is a Latte Laff on side. Latte Laff, who's got pace here to burn. Latte Laff goes. Oh, he ran right the keeper. Oh, oh. oh. He lost the ball. And Southampton survived, but it really opened up there for Middlesbrough. Lyon yeah, takes a shot on. He didn't even have hold of it. I think was that to actually to the striker. Was it to Greenwood? Just uh, actually, yeah, he did. Better angle there. Yeah, he did. He sort of not quite sure, but he was a yeah, yeah, both angles in it. From the angle where it was first shown, didn't look like it at all, but it was better angle. Tucked in a little bit too close to Jack Stevens. He sort of left that gap just a little bit too big. But we're starting to build it up a little bit more now. Here comes Southampton, though. That's what they're missing, isn't it? And it was a big chance for Middlesbrough. But here comes Saints down the left with. Oh, that's a foul. It's going to be a free kick for Southampton. It's going to be a yellow card for Isaiah Jones. Isaiah Jones this time for that challenge. Camel Dean Suleiman are doing what he's got to keep doing when he gets in these positions in the final third. Take players on. It's horrible as a defender, honestly. When you got players, yeah, it's a definite foul. Definite. A little bit, and it was quite late. Just definite yellow card. Very Can't say challenge. anything against it. But it gives us an opportunity to put a delivery into the box with either Stuart Armstrong or Will Smallbone, who have stood over the ball at the moment. And Suleiman has. Free kick is set to be taken. Apparently, Lyle Laff has a yellow card. Never seen anything about Lyle Laff having a yellow card. I might have been from when he was getting the ball, maybe, I don't know. Will Smallbone and Stuart Armstrong are shading their eyes on this silly yellow card. The referee, if that is the case. On this. Easter Friday. Let's get just a technical. And it'll be the Scotland international to leave. And the ball is whipped in. Into the middle. Pushed Dieng away from Sandy Dieng. It wasn't too effective, and it's coming back here in the direction of the Middlesbrough penalty area in the shape of Will Downs. We've got every player in the Middlesbrough half here of Southampton, and they'll Oof. transfer it quickly to this left side. And to me, a poor throw. And too far in front of James Bree. The pass to Stuart Armstrong wasn't the best. I think the way that this game down, is going at the moment. Had that been intercepted, there is a dangerous area of the pitch. Could have led to a breakaway uh, from Borough. I don't know if I can see us getting so back in the way. Just forced that little bit too much. Unless if we can do what we've just done there, what Lyle has just done, obviously. Put the chance away. Huddersfield and we can definitely once more get back into this Clark. for a point, but launch this one diagonally in the direction of very hard to get two past them. It's gonna be offside. It's gonna be a free kick. Just while we got a break in play, uh, Greg watching in Bangkok. Question for Franny: Who was the most difficult player you had to mark in your career? Well, thanks for the question. And I mean, uh, every opponent was difficult one way or another, believe me. Um, some were difficult physically, hard to play against. Uh, some were really quick and tricky. Uh, but um, I, I, I've got a bit of a top 10. And, and if I said it might be a surprise, um, but it's Ian Wright was my number one for the all round, you know. The, Oh! Oh! Tell you what, Southampton's got themselves out of danger there, but here's Adam Armstrong on the right hand side. Looking to counter. Carl Walker Peters. Now Stuart Armstrong. Uh, I mean, Adam Armstrong again. Stuart Armstrong. Go on the box, say the Oh. Oh. What happened there? I'm pretty sure Dieng saves it and it comes out of his hands. It was put in the box. Yeah. Shea Adams offside. Close as well. Latte laugh. Oh. I've got to say, I think the, the ball from Suleimana, yes, the official's flag went up for an offside decision, but I think Suleimana needs to just create, you know, create that pass in the, into Shea Adams in the middle with a little bit more quality. It was just a little bit too far ahead of him, I think, which enabled the keeper to get on it first. 
they were, pl they were piling the pressure on there as well. Wasn't to know that he would be saved by the offside decision. And as it is, Southampton still with this narrow one goal advantage from so early in the game from Adam Armstrong. And now they'll move. And now Armstrong more. again. With Adam, Adam Armstrong. Armstrong once more. Goal scorer. Carl Walker Peters. Galore for the Southampton player this season. And Flynn Downs. Stuart Armstrong. That short, simple, but effective passing. Possession with a purpose. Our Southampton fans are hoping here, as they really could do with the insurance of a second goal, particularly with Middlesbrough live wire quick on the counter attack. It's an absorbing position this game finds itself in with 10 minutes played in this second period. And the Southampton anthem ringing hey out around. Adam Armstrong, Carl Walker Peters. St. Mary's, they're really trying to lift Russell Martin's players here. They know the criticality of a the ball to Chad Adams. He looks offside. It was a fine diving save. And it was a great save. <laughs> from Senny Dien. I thought it might have been off to be fair, but it was a really good save from Senny Dien. Oh, what an opportunity that was. There was certainly no instant flag going up from the, the assistant referee. Connor taking short. Oh, Jesus. Adam Armstrong. Goal kick. Should be. No, it's another corner, apparently. We were caught nothing there again. And Southampton fans at the chapel stand end of the ground. They are trying to suck the ball into that Middlesbrough net and how close they came there. But Senegal goalkeeper Seni Dieng excelling. And a short corner to Suleimana who will play it flat Played to away. Taylor Harwood Bellis. They, again, they were caught by surprise there at Middlesbrough. Unusual corner. Oh and no. Here is Camel Dean Suleimana once more. And Stuart Armstrong. Oh, brilliant. Oh. What is going on? He had all the time to pick his spot and he's put it wide of a post, but it looked like Oh my word. A shot taken on and then it was blocked by Clark and it went further into the box. And it came to Shea Adams again. And that fight was in to be fair, but it just goes quite quick. But this is the one. It's a good save from the goalkeeper, but just goes wide. Very, very good chances for Shea. But there's three chances there in a matter of like to keep not five minutes. On these chances at this moment, that they should have scored. More than guilt and one of them, and one of them was offside. And one of them went in. Clearly wants to figure in Steve Clark's plans for Scotland. He was a, a substitute in both games. And now O'Brien. We're looking to come on the counter here. Now Latte laugh. He Can he find a pass? He does. He finds Isaiah Jones. He's got Ealing on his right. He's got a Zaz. Corner ball. Just so that shows how this game is sort of swinging one end of the pitch to the other. It's pretty open. Oh, yeah. Up the Mark. How are you chance. doing? We haven't punished them for the opportunities we've had so far in this match. We've got away with the one that hit the post in the first half. It's a sort of chance that Shea Adams normally gobbles up in his sleep with two goals in his last two matches as well. Right foot cross. Here comes the corner from Greenwood. Greenwood an ball in. And comfortably headed away. O'Brien keeps it alive. He's going to put a cross in here. No, he's not. He's going to need some help. And he gets up with Azaz. And now Jones. Back to Azaz. Still just this precarious one goal lead that Russell Martin there's no runners so he's having to go more. back someone tweeted me this morning or should I say on, on socials Lars and said I'll take a scrappy Clark. One win it's a long I'll ball forward to to O'Brien he's got Azaz with him again Azaz right now because here come Middles oh, oh he's nearly fell over but he keeps it alive Greenwood this will come in eventually will it from Balassa Azaz to ball at the back post. Engels there. But Ehrling does a really good job and he keeps it alive. O'Brien. It's a long ball in. No. 
And now here comes Southampton on the counter again. Now on the right hand side. This could be dangerous. Jay Adams. Ball at the box. And it's come all the way to Isaiah Jones. It's an absorbing contest. It really is stretched and it's end to end. It's us. And there's big space in the here for Daniel Barlazer for Middlesbrough. He's just gone to ground. O'Brien. And Finn Azaz, who's had a, a purple patch for Middlesbrough here. It's going to be a free kick. For an equaliser. And the profligacy of Shea Adams. He'll be kicking himself uh, particularly. Oh, yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Look at that, Ken. No worries. Go on, you rip. Tell you what, this game is. It's starting to go end to end once again. Unfortunately, not for Saints, but it's just approaching that period of the game where you see so many. Managers yeah, he gets making away. a change and actually we're seeing Ryan Fraser there you go. just get to his feet so it looks like he's going to be coming on. There you go, just now, for you Mark, just for you. Johnny Harrison who hit the penalty spot winner at the Get there, the love that. Captain floating in that free kick and they're just playing calm. Get into the back post, back post, there it is! It's comfortable though for Gavin Bazunu. A couple more messages. It was a uh, left footed cross by O'Brien. But Bazuno gets there. My dad Alan watching from home from all of us at Dubai Saints. And another Dubai message that while Waring family watching from Dubai appreciate the play 60 minutes here. Ben Waring and Southampton playing themselves out of trouble here as a, a seagull takes a, a fly pass towards the chapel. And now on the right hand side. Southampton are probing right now and they've missed time that pass because Armstrong's offside dead level uh, myself and Franny Bernali that, that Adam Armstrong was just caught on the wrong side of the Middlesbrough defence yeah a number of changes by the looks of it looking down the grass and at the, the technical area Saints are going to be making Southampton are making is going to be one of them that's two changes on. and David Brooks, and Brooks as well, as well yeah so some positive changes from Russell Martin maybe just to get some Fresh legs on. You'd maybe probably say Suleiman is definitely going to be one of the ones to to come off. Carl Walker Peters. He's done well. He put the ball into the box for that opening goal for us, didn't he? Oh, Greenwood. Martin, I'm starting to apply the pressure. Short, intricate, effective passing from Saints. Once and now here comes Southampton. Oh, that's a silly, that's a silly challenge from Azaz. It's a yellow card. A yellow card. So a double change about to be made. Carl Walker Peters was making a bursting run there. But Azaz grabs him by the shoulders, basically. It's a yellow card. Jay Adams is one of the players to make way. Shea Adams. Shea Adams comes off. Frustration there. He'll be disappointed with the misses, but he won't dwell on it. And neither will Southampton. David Brooks is coming on. And as Franny Bernardi correctly said, Camel Dean Suleimana also making way. And the wee man, as he's known in these parts, Ryan Fraser looking to make an impact as he has done so effectively so often in this exciting season for Southampton. Well that just shuffles, reshuffles our front three and will give Middlesbrough some problems I hope. Ryan Fraser's come out onto the left hand side, Adam Armstrong has taken up that central role and David Brooks is out on the right hand side and we've seen the impact substitutes have had in recent games. And Love that O'Brien. coming on can have the same effect today. We don't want to long ball forward again. It's going to come down very slow. An open game. We've still got to control this game. If it has to be 1-0 and we get that through, keep a clean sheet, take the points, let's do it that way. But if we can make it more comfortable with a second goal, all the better. David Brooks, who's career with Wales 66% possession for Southampton 34 for Middlesbrough and here comes Southampton and they move a good block and it's going to be a, a corner with Ryan Fraser to take and it's been taken already Stuart Armstrong back post oh dear and it's going to be stopped anyways due to offside. 
but it was going to be cleared away anyways. A quick corner and that can catch opposition teams out a little bit. They don't get set, they don't give them time to get back into position. And it was looking quite promising when the ball came in, but I'd probably have to agree with the, the assistant referee that Jack Stevens had maybe just drifted into an offside position. Oh dear. Trying to play it out. Not there, not there, not all oh my word. <laughs> well, <hell. laughs> I just don't think I'm going to talk about what just happened. To nearly profiting and Go on, Latte. Barlasa. Oh! Offside. It was a nice little slick lap, but here comes Southampton straight away. Oh, oh, Jesus, we've just been opened up. But Senny Dieng is in the right place at the right time. Birmingham take the lead against QPR. Bakuna gets the goal. Suffering illness as well after uh, coming on as a substitute in that dramatic match against Poland, but now hopefully ready to go full throttle for this remaining 25 minutes or so at St Mary's. Just seeing a few of the players, Carl Walker Peters, Taylor, Taylor Harwood Bellis on that occasion, just taking the, the momentum and the sting out of the game a little bit. I think that's a wise decision by the players out on the Carl Walker Peters. Oh, that's excellent. It's going to be a free kick, though. I think it's handball. Excitement, really. We've got to keep composed. Try and dominate possession a little bit again. By all means, take those opportunities if you can break fast. And that, that pass from David Brooks was a little bit of a shame because it was a great opportunity trying to find his fellow substitute, Ryan Fraser, with the pass. But it was just over hit a little bit too strong. Yeah. But we looked dangerous still. David Brooks, who we hoping to make an impact in this remaining 25 minutes or so. Southampton who have played 18 times at St Mary's in the Championship this season. They've come away with a victory on 12 of those occasions. Four defeats, 45 goals scored, 24 conceded. Luke Cairn taking the throw. St. Mary's, sometimes stressful. But there was just no one who was say, wanting it. You'd almost bite your hand but as I had drawn, here we go. And now O'Brien. Bearing down on the Southampton on the left hand side, Engels, Engels. Goes towards Isaiah Jones. Jones keeps it alive, though, as he keeps the ball at his feet. Here is the Leeds United loan, and now Barlasa, and now Clark. He finds Engel. Can Engel find a pass? Okay, put it in the box. He's going to go backwards to Lewis O'Brien. Clark. Great pass. But trying to find an opening here. And Azaz. Azaz. Oh! It's a goal kick, apparently. When that ball came into the box, Sat Lato laughs feet. And Saints do so well. Carl Walker Peters just gets beaten there with the ball coming in, but then all of a sudden there's a massive red shirt around him. That's a corner, that you know. Time to maneuver the ball for his teammates. Good defender from the Saints defenders. Reminder still to come later in the day. Ewood Park, Blackburn. Oh dear. Against. Now here comes Southampton. And then again. Watford against Leeds at Vicarage Road. Here's Stuart Armstrong defending. At one end, one minute, and now trying to set Southampton going forward at the other. Now this could be dangerous. It's 1-1. One, one. QPR and Birmingham. It's done. It's St Mary's live on Saints players. Who gets the goal? Ryan Fraser. For QPR. Shoulder and show a trick or two. And it's ball into, into the box. Engel cleverly does really well. Back to his goalkeeper by Lucas Engel. It's a long throw Brooks by saying the end to Lucas Engel. Post a little bit. It's a good ball in from now Greenwood. Fraser. There's only Adam Armstrong in the middle. He has no options with him. Just needed another bit more support from the 
and red and white shirts. He had Engel on his uh, left, but it was too obvious was given an extended for the pass. Contract by the now Engel. Jesse Marsh, who's getting his opportunity to shine here this afternoon. And Middlesbrough, well, it's more than just flurries at the moment. They're showing a, a level of composure. And the Borough fans again. And Singing an all again. And it's got Southampton supporters all on said. the edge of their seats. I think they'll be quite happy in some ways. Not happy that they're losing, Lars, but the fact that it's only 1 0 still, they, they will truly believe that they can get something from this game at this stage of the match, the way that it stayed at 1 0. Sonny Dien, the former Queen's Park Rangers goalkeeper, is a. Jones. Long pass here, and Isaiah Jones will turn and find Finn Azaz. And Azaz will give it to Luke Ayling, and they're building well here. One. And Lewis O'Brien threatens to shoot and finds Azaz. Goes for a one to oh. one, couldn't quite get his shot away, it was blocked. And now, for the change of pace, here's Ryan Fraser, who felt he was impeded, he was obstructed, and now they'll take some pressure. God damn it. Southampton, who are just going through a bit of a rocky spell. It's a yellow card for Barlasa. I think, was it O'Brien, maybe? There was O'Brien, was it? There's been quite a few of them, that's for sure, isn't it? He's been busy, the referee, today. He's had a number of yellow cards that he's issued. Middlesbrough fans singing all Carrick said. And that, as we mentioned earlier, is part of the uh, the rationale for Jan Dednarek not being in the Southampton starting 11 this afternoon on nine yellow cards. And the threshold now after today's game will go up to 15 yellow cards. So uh, here is Jack Stevens, captain of Southampton, showing leadership and composure as he sets Saints going down with substitute David Brooks coming in field. And... Southampton just keeping hold of the ball at the moment. Uh, again, looking well organised and difficult to break down here. Our Middlesbrough with 20 minutes remaining. What will unfathom in this second period of the second half? Carl Walker Peters and, and now Carl Walker Peters. Middlesbrough supporters inside the ground who made the long trip down from Teesside. They're getting behind Middlesbrough and encouraging them and energising them. And they've got work to do here as Southampton are knocking on the door and just trying to fashion an opening. Can Ryan Fraser find it? Or perhaps Stuart Armstrong oh dear. a clever one-two. Gets it back and plays it across. It's spilled. Oh, what a save by Steny Dien. Nearly fell for Adam Armstrong. And somehow... Oh, my word. We defended so well there. We could be on a counter-attack. Go on, George. Go on, Jones! Go on! Oh! Pull the ball, come on! Oh, my word! That is absolutely brilliant! Both put in, save from Dieng, and then it's blocked from Engel, blocked from Clark, blocked block from Engel! And then it was cleared away by Azaz, came to Latte Laugh, Latte Laugh finds Isaiah Jones. Jones was just beaten by the defender. And it is now a corner for the Borough after that counter attack. Super Jack is the cry from the relieved Southampton. Oh my word! Comes in from Sam Greenwood eventually. The referee has been a, a pivotal figure here, Matthew Donahue, who's brandished quite a few yellow cards. That defending there was absolutely brilliant. How that didn't go in. How, how any of them shots didn't go in, I don't know. But we defended so well there. Sam Greenwood getting ready to put the ball in. Try once more. They've gambled here at Michael Carrick's side. They put plenty of big guns forward in the hope of finding an equaliser. Both arms raised by Greenwood. The ball in. Look at it being in the back post. Oh. It was a header from Aileen. It was high, but not enough power. A spell of play that was just as you thought. Southampton surely were going to extend the lead. I still do not know how that ball stayed out. But it was through a lot of uh, courageous defending. Courageous and almost desperate. Norwich have scored. It's Sergeant. It's 1 1. Did what they had to do to clear it, but. 
And Stoke takes the lead against Hull. It's a raw, no. It's a ball in. And it's a goal kick. Time to give it your all. Time to gamble all or nothing. Yeah, exactly. Sammy Silvera is coming on for Greenwood. Right decision, I think. I think Silvera is uh, the right player to bring on. Another chance. Dyke Steele's about to come on for Middlesbrough. And making way is Sam Greenwood. So Just sold my car. Sammy Silver. Dyke Steele sold my car. They get around quarter of an hour left to play. And Middlesbrough trying to play their way out in similar fashion oh. to the way Southampton have been, been accustomed to. That's the way both these managers like to play it. Angle. Here come Middlesbrough. Now Silvera. Uh, He's Steel just come on. It's a ball forward. It's not going to be enough. But it's the right idea from uh, Very much what we've been used to seeing this from Silvera. Right idea. Just one of those moments where the ball comes onto the pitch really quick. Trying to restart the game and get the momentum up the pitch quickly from Gavin Bazunu, but the referee not having it. Just wanted the other ball well off the pitch before the Lucky restart wages. took place. <laughs> Southampton, who scored 74 goals Glad this season out. with that Adam Armstrong effort here this afternoon, averaging over two goals a game. And how they would love this priceless three points heading into this Easter holiday period and certainly ahead of heading to East Anglia on Monday for that titanic match yeah, against that's Ipswich Town. Apparently a foul on Ryan Fraser. Laws, anyone from I think he's milking that a little bit. How the points come. You know, if, it, if it means we've got to do it a, a, a bit of a nervous way this afternoon, it's not great on our blood pressures probably, but you know, it, it's ultimately the outcome. However we get there, if it's three points, we'll take it. And if it's certainly through a clean sheet, which has got to be by the looks of it at the moment, even better. But clearly we want to be scoring more goals and we, we've had those chances today, but it could have easily been a very different scoreline at this stage of the game. David Brooks under pressure from get up. who will concede the throw-in and do well to shove out the threat of the Welsh international. So the two Southampton substitutes are on. David Brooks wide right and Ryan Fraser wide on the left. And Adam Armstrong, the Saints goal scorer, now operating through the middle. Middlesbrough, my word, they've had their moments, they've had their chances. Another the play by James Bree, and then he'll lift it into the path of oh dear. Fraser. We've got Fraser. Luke Ayling. He's only got Adam Armstrong in the middle, and Stuart Armstrong is trying to shape to shoot. And turns full circle with Scotland International, and plays it to his fellow. Fraser Scott. ball in, headed away from Fraser. Clark. But it's still, it's still there. Engel, header. And then David Brooks and Silvera trying to find a way, trying to get the ball off him. Carl Walker Peters. And now on the right hand side, still. Now in the 77th minute, Bill fans are clapping for uh, Southampton for the, uh, the, the clap thing. I've seen something about that. 77th minute. Emmanuel Latera and David Brooks comes in off that touchline as he likes to do and get the return and he'll thread it through to Stuart Armstrong and Will Smallbone had done well to burst into the middle of the penalty area wow. denied by Seni Diem. Oh, just another build up in a final pass that was just a little bit on the heavy side again it was a good bit of movement and a pass from Armstrong trying to find Smallbone. We haven't got long left. He's off his line really quickly Diem. Twelve minutes of normal time left to go. Isaiah Jones getting no change out of James Bree. Southampton. They would 
give for a second goal here and you look at the impact that the substitutes have made from Southampton I think uh, it's only Ipswich Town that can match them for Jones is by players who come on and make an impact think it, think uh, across the whole of the EFL and Brown. well one of them Ryan Fraser has made Norwich take the lead against the Plymouth he timed his oh goal. no He's offside. offside great save from <laughs> Anyways. He was anyways. run a lot earlier than he was. He was one on one there as well. Jack Stevens. Good ball. Offside, like, but by the time the pass was actually made, he was well Dieng from our commentary position here. Assistant referee certainly wasn't a tight one to make the decision on there and. I bring few of the uh, young, young lads on. And Borough have to go for this. I mean, this final ten minutes, it's their season right here, isn't it? If they lose now, you would say their playoff aspirations are done and dusted. Seven points off the top six going into this game. Yeah. If they lose this, you'd say, barring a miracle. Yeah, it's been a, a, a stop and start, an up and down season, a little bit for, for Middlesbrough, and there's been reasons for that, but... You're right, if, if there's nothing from today, you would probably say that's written off their opportunities of, you know, squeezing into that, that playoff position. But certainly from Saints' perspective, we've got to keep things tight, stay focused, stay concentrated. In these remaining minutes, looks like we might have to do it the hard way. Chris, Joe and Riley watching in Malta on Saints' play. It's going to be a nervy final 10 minutes, but what a big prize at the end of it. It'll be a huge three points going we into need that for magic, yeah. 10 matches. Jones is currently season. down. And you look at the, the games to come against Ipswich away, against Leicester away in a rearranged match on a Tuesday in mid-April, and then that... Somebody's changed. <laughs> you it looks like that's the situation okay. be by the time that Southampton that... go to Ellen Road to take on Leeds United in the final game. Or is that Gilbert? Jones is coming off for Leeds United. Jones is coming off Gilbert after getting treatment in his place. Oh Jesus! It's brilliant, everyone tuning in, following from around the world. Fabulous, nice, isn't it? Hope you're enjoying the game. Hope you're enjoying the commentary, and it's. Nice to maybe to give out a John little shout out to is limping off. a friend of mine as well, friends of mine, Simon, Gemma, and it's Oliver, Alex Gilbert, tuning into the match. who nice comes on for John. Watching the game, tuning in. So hi guys, hope you're having a great time. I'm all going to something serious. Secure these three minutes. Uh, three minutes. <laughs> I was looking at the clock. Three points from the remaining minutes that we have in this game. Yeah, it's going to be tense on these closing exchanges. Let's see what uh, Gilbert can do. It's incredible, isn't it, uh, to think, Franny, that 92 points has been enough for automatic promotion in eight out of the last ten championship seasons. Well, you, you can see Saints getting there for sure. Yes. You know, and here they come with a, a release ball. Here comes Dan's Southampton. Oh dear. Ryan Fraser, suspicious. James for a handball, nothing a given. From the and now Engel, supporters. giving it everything he's got. Interesting that we just had, as I saw it, only Adam Armstrong. I know it was a little bit of a break from Ryan Fraser down the left-hand side, but just Adam Armstrong in the box for Saints. Not an awful lot to pick out. Look at that. Challenge advantage played as Stuart Look Armstrong at this. flew in. And Engel. Here comes the cross from the left-hand side, headed away by... It's going to be a throw. Fellas, just beginning to raise the tempo here. Our Middlesbrough. Lucas Engel's cross was cleared at the near post. They've got to go for it here. Southampton looking to make another change. Engel As finds Latte Laugh. Laugh goes back to Engel. Get across and Southampton have numbers back to work it away from their penalty area. And now the move will Intercepted. And it is Middlesbrough. By Ellen. O'Brien. Balassa. I think it's in these key moments, though, it's just casting my mind back as a player. It's almost like it is really edgy and, and nervous for all of us 
not on the pitch, but when you're on the pitch, you feel like there's an element of control in there, and you've got to stay composed. It's just thinking, well, okay, you know, we needed that second goal. We haven't taken our chances. There's obviously Borough doing their bit to get back into the game as well, but you just got to have that belief and confidence in one another, individuals within the team and collectively. That okay, that's fine. We've got a bit of defending to do. We can handle that. If it's a tight game, Huddersfield we're going to have get one back. I'm sure before the end of the season. It's two one. Silvera. Middlesbrough substitute Sammy Silvera. Still there for him. It's still there. Is out muscle. Love that. The Australian international will just shove his marker James Bree in the back and can see the free kick. Yeah, Bree doing well there. And clever defending. Won the free kick. The Saints are about to make another substitution. Yeah. Sukumara will come on for. Yeah. The remaining minutes are in place of Adam Armstrong. Adam Armstrong comes off. Could be a vital goal. His 19th goal of the season. For Adam Armstrong. It's what Mara who comes so on. Far. But it's the important one that's counted. Sekumara. He's been in the back of the net on six occasions so far this season. Pay a large sum of money to find a seventh, a lucky seventh one here at St Mary's that would seal a big, big three points for Southampton. And here is the Saints substitute, having a, a nod on. their way and then regain it and David Brooks with a heavy touch and now Silvera here come Middlesbrough once more Engel danger is with Engel and Azaz combining passes and in the middle they've got Emmanuel Latila and Alex Gilbert oh. it's, uh, that's good work by great Alex tackle oh. really done some sterling tackling tenaciously and Southampton are in a hurry to take the free kick quickly and then through the middle, Ryan Fraser <laughs> timed his run correctly hell. that time, but racing out of goal, Sonny Diang averted the danger. Yeah, it's good positioning from Sonny Diang, wasn't it? Spotted the dangerous through ball. If he'd been back in his own 18-yard box, you would have thought Ryan Fraser would have latched onto that pass and would have been a one-on-one, -on -one, but... Here comes Sonny Silvera. There's width here being offered by Luke Ayling. With three and a half minutes plus added on time to be played. And Middlesbrough desperate to get parity. And Gilbert. Gilbert he's been crowded out here. And David Brooks, or well, the referee, got in his way slightly. And Middlesbrough with a Zaz will release Engel. And Engel will play it across. Oh! Gas defending by Southampton once more. And they're really turning the screw here on Michael Carrick's side. And another opportunity. The shot comes oh. out. Another brave block. Come on. That time by Taylor Harwood Bellis. Ailing will keep it coming forward. And the ball in. It's there. Oh. My word. Well, really <laughs> the keeper really tease was there. The it was nearly in. The Irish there. And Southampton might profit because it's Will Smallbone releasing David Brooks. Now, Seiko oh, Jesus. Middle, David Brooks. To Will Smallbone here. Smallbone, Portina. Save. Oh, my word. <laughs> He's guided. He absolutely guided. Well, I'm just... I'll give you a chance to gather your breath. No, it's because... <laughs> Brooks with a good it's ball. It's just tense, isn't it? Both ends of the pitch. We've seen... It's great save, isn't it? Another opportunity to shot from Ryan... Fraser there being saved and then it's the, the follow up shot from Will Smallbone it was good intricate play from Saints but again you've got to say another opportunity has gone wasted well there's two minutes plus added on time left to be played 
and Southampton on the cusp of a huge three points and a third straight championship win in their quest to close down the likes of Ipswich, Leicester and Leeds United in this big bid for an automatic promotion place which is against the odds but they're doing everything possible to make the impossible possible possible it's Middlesbrough who are looking to go long here in the shape of their captain Johnny Harrison whose mistake so early in the game presented the chance half chance really for Adam Armstrong which he did dispatch with a plum and here Borough just keep possession on halfway with Matt Clark and Lewis O'Brien will thread it through to us. Here we go. O'Brien with a quick, clever pass in the direction of Gilbert, who turns and swivels. Excellent. And now there's a bit of room on the left here for Middlesbrough to swing it into the middle. Jack Stevens, tall, brave stalwart. He's had a, a mountain of a game at the back for Southampton this afternoon alongside Taylor Harwood Bellis. But they've got more to do as that Saints rear guard. It's Luke Ayling. former Silvera player will release Sammy Silvera and there's room for Gilbert to shape across and that's it left yes that's it left yes oh get in <laughs> get in get in there we've saved the point get in it's that's it left it's Sammy Silvera he keeps on the ball, he gives it to Gilbert, really good ball from Gilbert, and, and Natty Love with a beautiful header into the bottom corner. Southampton won, Millsborough won, come on! And we have saved the point. It's just a matter of holding on. Can we hold on? And Southampton will be fuming. They'll be absolutely fuming with that. How long have we got added? The Borough fans are going crazy. They're jumping up and down as they should. How long have we got added on? And Samuel Adozi are both coming on for, or just wait to see how much added time there is to play. Southampton, the get in there! Come on! Goals in the championship this season. How long is added on? Now more than ever, do they need to find a late, late dramatic winner here at St Mary's? I'm not sure about you, Lars, but I'm thinking there's got to be at least. Where the borer? Where the borer? Red Army! Where they bring it on? They're bringing uh, Luke Thomas on. So there's got to be some added time. Enough time, you would have to say. Lucas Engel comes off. Luke Thomas, the Leicester City lone player, is coming on. A former FA Cup winner with the Foxes. And they're in no hurry here, Middlesbrough. It's, it's frustrating for Southampton fans. And eventually the, the change will be made. Big noise in the northern end of the ground. It's as as who's coming off. Luke Thomas, Luke Thomas is on. We're going defensive now. I think. Well, you don't take your chances sometimes. Here we go. You have to say How long have we got added on? Profligacy here has cost them big time potentially. As we move we need to defend for our bloody lives here. Of added on time. Four minutes. There'll be an extra two minutes added on because of that late substitute. And now Southampton looking for a chance. They may get it. No, they won't. It's a corner ball. We've got to defend for our lives here. Come on. Side to get what will be one of the biggest goals of their season so far. I've got to say, there's certainly time to, to get a winner. I've got to believe that. Here's the, the ball, ball in, coming in, and headed away from Latte Laugh, the goal scorer. Of all people, it's coming back to Ryan oh, yes, Sammy Silvera. He absolutely launches it. 
Two by the diddy diddy dum diddy do. Running past defenders, scoring one or two. Looks good, looks good, looks fine, looks fine. Laughy laughy, on my mind. Now he's bored, he's numbing on. I knew he'd score. I knew it. And then we'd score. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Away. Hold on, come on. A Rebo. Oh, my God. Sunny Dieng. And he gets it up, but it's uh, not not a great ball. But can we hold on? Come on, hold on, hold on. Last ten seconds. Oh Jesus! And Sunny Dieng will stay on the floor for this one to drown out the time. Just on side. It doesn't matter. Seni Dieng has the ball. Drop the ball. Drop the ball. There you go. Now get it up. To the fifth minute and added on time. I think he's adding on another minute here. Mary's. Southampton one, Middlesbrough one. Oh, hang on. And Middlesbrough are coming forward once more, and oh. was trying to get on to the end of that ball. And Southampton are looking for one last gasp here. And we need to defend this for our lives. We may need another, but we are, I take a point here. Because they're starting to build up the pressure again. Is there a dramatic twist here? As Better not David be. Brooks is crowded out. And it'll be cleared oh. away by Johnny Hansen. Unless it's those who gets that one. Oh, Go on! Go on! Oh my god! Oh, Brian! Oh! Hang on, still on here! Still on! Go on, have a strike! Have a go! Great tackle. Foul. And there's three players down here. Balas has stayed down. Oh. Tell you what, the clock went in there like that. Such a hard thing to witness and experience when it's your team. And Southampton fans are starting to leave. Borough fans singing their hearts out. Back in the lads till the very end. Get up there, get up there. The end. Take a point, we'll take it. Full time. Quest for automatic promotion. They dominated this match and controlled proceedings for long spells. They led a fought to the end there. Armstrong's clinical finish. Excellent. Horror mistake by the Middlesbrough captain Johnny Housen. But their dominance. But I knew that enough would score. Extra goals. Shea Adams twice the guilty party. With but that, oh. that final chance there when we went forward should have dealt with that a lot better. I thought we could have went on won it there, like. But, but I thought that was a really good game, really good game of football. To be fair, literally end to end, brilliant game overall. And I think the point is pretty fair for what we got today. They have a game in hand. Oh, and the Borough fans are enjoying this. It's a great point on the board. It keeps our playoff chances alive. Sort of. 
How do you assess? How do you analyse? How do you feel after that? Oh, well, clearly there's the, the, the disappointment, the frustration uh, of not taking all three points. I, I had that gut feeling today that it was going to have to take a clean sheet, especially the longer that it went on and was just staying at 1-0 to take three points today because Middlesbrough were always getting those little opportunities throughout the game to score. There was some good defending at times. That challenge from Jack Stevens earlier in the second half was outstanding. But we just needed to take one of those chances that we had, that we created throughout the game to to kill Middlesbrough off. Uh, and we didn't Excellent. Do that. And that's something that's been a little bit of a, a, an Achilles heel so far in games this season. But we've got to stay on track. We can't let this result uh, derail us. That's enough. The Bloody because hell. Because there's still a huge amount to play for. Brilliant. Yes, it's frustrating. Yes, it's disappointing. But it's a point. It could have been three. It should have been three. We haven't managed it, unfortunately. But it's something that we've got to try and correct. Well, thank you all very much for watching this. Don't forget, 9 p.m. tonight, the John O'Killer is out. So make sure you give that a watch. Um, but yeah, great point on the board. We move on to Monday now. And uh, hopefully they get the three points. Um, that point saves our chances of the playoffs, you could say. So... So we'll have to do it it's a big way. push now until the end of the season. Um, so let's hope that we can go on and uh, battle hard and sneak our way through. But for now, that's it from me. Really good game. And well, yeah, can't wait for uh, can't wait for Monday. I shall see you all then. Peace out, everyone.